Okay, this is 3.10, and we're talking our bootstrap. The only problem is, I think there are students that don't know what inference actually is. So it's not making a lot of sense. So you have to make a formal statistical inference. But what is inference? Okay, in this assessment, you're given sample data. So it's very important to realise that your sample is not the whole population. What you're trying to do is make um, statements, not about the sample, although you do do that, but at the end of it, you actually have to make statements about the population. Okay? Now, this sample, if you imagine this is the population, um, there'll be bits of data within that population that have gone into the sample, but not all of them. So the sample is our way of looking at the population, but the distortion is such because we don't have all the information, so we're making educated guesses. So inference, what does it mean? It means I'm working with a sample, I'm not working with the entire population, I look at the statistics from the sample and use those to make educated guesses about the population. So a formal inference is one that's giving from and to values. Not just, I guess it's this much, but it's a fairly safe bet or a very safe bet that it's going to be back in the population between here and here. In this case, we're doing a comparison, so it's higher than the median of the other. Okay, so the big idea about inference, we are working with sample data, we are making inferences about the population. We are using our sample data to guess about the population, but it's an educated guess. And here it's an educated guess with some degree of precision, and that's why it's called a formal statistical inference.